Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a scroll spy in Bootstrap. So let me show you what a scroll spy is by going to the official Bootstrap API guide. If we scroll down, we got this example in a nav bar. That's the example that we'll be, you know, implementing. If I scroll down, as you can see, when we go to a certain particular, you know, different section of it, it highlights which one we're on. I know we're on like the, the one that's marked as one. That's part of the drop down. If we go to two, and there we go. And three. So that is pretty cool. You can implement it using a, a nested nav as well. You can implement it using a list group. I recommend that you, you know, have a go at all the different ways of doing it. But we're going to be using a nav. So let's go over here first of all we need to add some css if you have a separate designated css file for this particular page feel free to use that one because it's very basic i'm just going to keep you on the same page so you need to make the body position relative for you know using it with a nav otherwise it just doesn't work very well and i'm also going to do dot container margin dash top of 100 pixels reason i'm doing that is because we'll be putting the nav bar also forgot to mention i've covered nav bars and navs in a separate video so feel free to check that video out so i'm going to be you know going over the nav part of it pretty quickly just because i've covered it in a separate video okay yeah because the nav bar will be here at the start of the body and i don't know why bootstrap does it like this if you just put a nav bar there this content the container where your main body of your website will be gets overlapped by this so it's this starts at the top the nav bar starts at the top and the nav bar has a greater z index so it's basically on top of it so we want to just sort of you know by doing margin dash top we are moving this down a little bit or you could do margin dash bottom on the nav bar that that's the only reason we're putting that here Okay, so we also need to, in the body, the data dash spy scroll data dash target equals hash epic nav bar. So this is a nav bar that we are going to create that's going to have our ID of epic nav bar. We have not created that yet, but we will literally start doing that now. So nav, and we're going to put ID equals epic nav bar class equals nav bar nav bar dash light bg dash light px dash free fix dash top okay and next oh, what we're gonna do is just put like a title heading thing here you, you know, you could put an icon, an image. That's totally up to you. It's a number brand, href. I'm going to put a hash so it doesn't go to a different page or website. But you naturally would make that go to a different page or website. Usually, probably the home page of your website. Next, what we are going to do inside the nav is put a unordered list. So, unordered list. And this is going to have a class of nav, nav dash pills and we're gonna put a list item this is gonna have a class of nav dash item and in here we're gonna have a anchor tag class equals nav dash link href equals Hashtag Batman. So this is going to be a section that we'll navigate to and we'll get some like an image of the internet and some text basically just to describe a few different of you know my favorite characters and those will be the different sections that we'll be scrolling through. And yep, that's it. So we need as many you know list items as you want. I'll have a total of four. Just bear in mind because you know the nav bar only has a certain size. If you put too many, you can look not very good you're still going on multiple lines so just bear that in mind uh, this one is going to be superman this one's going to be yoda and this one is going to be anakin 
forgot one thing in here we need to, we need to actually put the text that appears because you could click that and go to that section as well you don't have to just scroll and you know see the nav bar is keeping up with where you are on the page that's totally up to you okay so now that we've done that in our container we can actually implement you know the content because if we look at it now this is what we get so we want to be able to you know click these or scroll through these and actually you know go to the particular page i mean section on the page so in here we're going to have a div and this is going to be data dash spy equals scroll data dash target is going to be equal hashtag nav bar and like so and we're going to put data dash offset equals zero and now we can start literally just putting our content like formatting our web page so we're going to have a h4 tag you could have any sort of h tag you want an id and this id is going to be these sections so batman superman yoda and anakin and in here we'll just put the name of the character we're gonna have a p tag and we are gonna have an image as well and i'm gonna have a class of w-100 this will just make it you know 100 percent of the width of his parent container which in this case is this div and this will be you know relative to you know column 12. so that way the images regardless of the screen size and regardless of the original image are full size and they don't go over you know the screen if it's on a really small screen and src we we will implement that in a second but that's basically the format so let me you duplicate this this is going to now be superman this is going to be yoda have i duplicated it too many times one two three four no okay we're good we're good before i had duplicated it too many times it's going to be anakin If we go back refresh that's what we get so it just goes to the bottom one because that's you know there because there's no content here so let's actually put some text and an image so if i type in batman we're going to grab a hold of this text there we go we're going to get an image i will be using the first one there now let's get superman 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 actually let me show you something i think this one if we copy the image address it gives us this massive i know one or two of them doing you might come across this now this one doesn't so this is all right the other one will so let me show you I will show you in a second. Let me get the text, the, the description. Superman, I am excited to see the Snyder Cut next year. See what that is like. And now let's get Yoda. I'm positive Yoda had this not an issue, but we go. Let's get the text first. Now let's get an image for Yoda get this image if i was to copy image address this this is actually working all right at the moment like sometimes it was giving me this massive you know i don't think it's because i was copying that now it was giving this massive sort of data attribute which is not what you want and it just is massive as well next one is anakin <coughs> Ooh, bless me just sneezed okay so let's get this text let's put this 
gjorde det. Uh, put that there. Let's get an image of Anakin Skywalker. I'm pretty sure like this did it when I go to copy image address. Uh, it may have been because of or was, it, it, it hadn't loaded possibly. Ignore what I'm saying. Okay, so almost there. So we just want to add a bit of JavaScript now. So if we go down, open up some script tags. Again, if you have a separate designated JavaScript file for this particular page, feel free to use that one. I do not, and this is a simple example, so I will just be putting it here. Add event listener. When we resize the website, you know, the, the browser, we want to call this method resize window which is what we're going to implement right now and in here the reason what we want to do here is basically refresh all our data spy element just because when we're resizing it sometimes the scrolling position can be a bit off if we go from a big size to a small size it may not you know adjust accordingly so you want to just put this as well data by list equals square brackets dot slice dot core document dot query selector all and single quotation marks square brackets data dash spy so this is going to get any element with the data by scroll attribute which is you know the ones we want oh, we should be good to close that now make sure you close the quotation marks inside because it doesn't automatically close you i did make that mistake on a previous video and i did fix it in the video but you know that was you know time wasted uh, i guess i learned from it so not completely wasted function data spy element and now in here we're just going to say bootstrap dot scroll spy dot get instance data spy element Dot refresh and there we go we should be ready to see what we get make sure we get no errors in the console which we do not great and I selected Batman if I start scrolling once we get to the Superman section it's Superman if we go to the Yoda section it's Yoda if we go to the bottom it's Anakin Skywalker and we can click on a particular one as well so we can resize it Batman, Superman, Yoda and Anakin. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome bootstrap video.